why not follow through on that and be fully transparent and release all of that information? No, and, and I said, I am putting everything tested. I am being out and being tested day in and day out. Let's start with how we're set up here. This is very different than the last time we were here in your home and talking. Walk me through why we need the closed captioning, how it works. Yeah, it's, it's really just how things happen because I sometimes will hear things in a way that's not perfectly clear. So I use captioning. So I'm able to see what you're saying on the, uh, in captioning and I'm able to respond to, uh, with the, the question. And that's the auditory processing. Yeah, that auditory processing where you know, I'll hear someone speaking, but sometimes I'll be able to be uh, precise on what exactly that they're saying. I use captioning. So you say you're on the road to full recovery, but right now voters really have to take your word for it. We've asked for your medical records. We've asked to have a conversation with someone from your medical team to interview your physician. You've declined those requests. Why? Well, I, I feel like we have been very transparent in a lot of different ways. When our doctor has already given a letter saying that I'm able to serve and to, to be uh, running. And then I think there's, you can't be any more transparent than standing up on a stage with 3,000 people and having a, a speech without a teleprompter and just being and putting everything and yourself out there like that. I think that's as transparent as everyone in Pennsylvania can, can see. You have styled yourself as the no bullshit candidate, right? It's why a lot of people are drawn to you. Sometimes that's, that's easy and sometimes like in moments like this, that gets tested. So why not follow through on that and be fully transparent and release all of that information? No, and, and I said, I am putting everything tested. I am being out and being tested day in and day out. And you know, if, if my doctor teams already said that I'm, I'm fine, and I'm ready to go on that, then I, I'm not really sure that's much more beyond transparent. But we're taking your word for what your doctors are telling you, right? We haven't heard from them in months. Well, I mean, if they believe that I was ready to, to do that, and I've been able to successfully do that kind of campaigning, I think that demonstrates what they've said and their, their opinions were actually pretty accurate. And Savannah, we did find that in small talk before the interview, without captioning, it seemed it was difficult for Fetterman to understand our conversation. Yeah, and Dasha, you had mentioned that last night on uh, Nightly. Since then, other journalists who've also dealt with Fetterman came forward and said they had a different experience. Yeah, and Savannah, that's completely fair that that was their experience. We can only report our own. I will say it's important to note that according to the campaign itself, our team was the first to be in the room with Fetterman for an interview rather than via remote video conference. And uh, myself, my producer, and our crew did find that small talk before that captioning was, was difficult because of those auditory processing issues I mentioned.